Hey everyone, Ryan here. So, welcome back to more wrestling talk. Once again, I would like to focus on the Monday Night uh, Raw. What happened last Monday? Wow. <laughs> I wasn't surprised to see this coming, but if you guys are familiar with Retribution, they've been in uh, both on Monday Night Raw and SmackDown for the last couple months, uh, making chaos everywhere, of course. Uh, this is not for the rest of it, but the crew just as well. But we also got to find out who their leader actually is last Monday, Mustafa Ali. Well, I'm not quite surprised with this, believe it or not, but I want to give you my theories of what they actually probably did with this uh, story. But before I actually get there, I just want to talk uh, uh, about the draft of what's actually going on. Because this last Friday, uh, the draft started up for this uh, 2020 season. And uh, we got to see some interesting trades as it is. And we got to learn more on uh, Talking Smack uh, last yesterday, this as well. And this uh, draft will also continue into tomorrow. But I, I actually feel... With this draft, I think Retribution will stay where they are, as long with Mustafa Ali. Uh, it just seems like they're not still trying to uh, uh, get away from the story uh, with uh, the Mysterio uh, family and Seth Rollins. And they actually pushed them over to SmackDown. So it'll be interesting uh, what they actually work with that. I'm hoping that will come to an end pretty soon. But I want to focus, believe it or not, on Retribution and with and Mustafa Ali being the, lead, the leader of here. So the thing I really want to talk about was... Uh, are you guys, do you guys remember what happened in the beginning of this year with the WWE? Uh, there was a person uh, that was behind this hacker, and they referred him as the SmackDown hacker because he really focused on uh, some people over on the SmackDown side. Uh, well, it was two ladies, Asuna Deville and Mandy Rose. And uh, this, they called him the SmackDown hacker, and when he got involved, he pre pretty much uh, gave the truth. He, he had hidden cameras behind in the backstage area. We got to see what things we did not see, believe it or not. And this was just the only attack we actually got to see. It just seems like uh, the SmackDown hacker went away. And after the, the big uh, Sona Deville and Mandy Rose uh, breakup, uh, there were seen to be some uh, signs that uh, the SmackDown hacker was actually still there. But this seems like it just uh, faded away. And if you guys have watched my videos, uh, during that time I did a number of videos with the SmackDown hacker, trying uh, to find out who this person actually is. I was really, really uh, thinking it was my best I see him pub because I heard rumors that he might be coming back to the WWE. But there was also rumors out there just as well. Mustafa Ali was actually uh, the SmackDown hacker just as well. Which makes me kind of think I think it was now because after what we saw on Monday Night Raw with him becoming the leader, I, I really feel this could have been uh, the story of what would have happened if that, that story of the SmackDown hacker would have continued. I kind of wish... I know. I don't know why they uh, uh, kind of raced uh, what they did with the SmackDown Hacker. I thought it was a wonderful story. Uh, it, it seems like it kind of feels like the WWE uh, really didn't give us the more attention with the SmackDown Hacker. And it really feels like uh, if the story would have continued, if it was with stuff early, which I think uh, at this point I really think it was, this would have been the story with uh, the story with Retribution just as well because I feel. From what I heard with rumors, this is why is and uh, for uh, think thoughts of, of what I actually thought too, uh, if uh, when uh, this mysterious uh, hacker would have been uh, revealed, uh, though he would have brought, brought other people with him, uh, like returning or new superstars as it is entering uh, with the uh, WWE and really hating uh, the likes of the WWE. So I actually think, believe it or not, with Retribution, I believe uh, the story actually continues with that SmackDown hacker, but it's just done differently. They uh, only gave us one of a breakup between us and DeVille and Mandy Rose, and this seems like all that went away, which is too bad. I was kind of hoping for a more developing story with the SmackDown hacker, but i really starting to feel that Mustafa Ali was behind that, that SmackDown hacker. And with him uh, showing up on Monday Night Raw when he was against uh, the Hurt Business with MVP, Yes, we got to see that shocking uh, development story when he uh, went down the retribution and started ordering to go to the ring. <laughs> yes, really surprising, I got to say. And yet, I kind of we kind of should have saw that coming. It's just, it's finally here. It's out in the open. Mustafa Ali is now the leader. And what's going to happen with this? So I leave this ultimate question with you guys, the WWE Universe. What do you think is going to happen with this developing story? How... What did, did you actually think that Mustafa Ali was the leader? We knew there would probably be a leader out there uh, with Retribution, and but Mustafa Ali is now confirmed to be this leader. What do you guys think? Where do you think the story might go from here? Any predictions of your own? So I'm really quite interested to see what's going to happen over here on Monday Night Raw, if they will continue that, which I think they will, because I think the strap won't interfere with their stories 
everybody will probably stay in place. And uh, Monday Night Raw, it will give us more of a developing story of what's going to happen. I'm trying to think of stories on my own. What could actually happen with thoughts of my own with it, around this? Mustafa Ali is a really great wrestler, and I'm great, glad, glad he's actually standing up to be someone uh, st much stronger. And a leader like he have, has become to a retribution. What can he actually bring to this ret retribution uh, group? And as we yes, have seen in the past there too, there's a lot more to them. I believe uh, we usually see like four or five of them usually come out of the ring, but there are a lot more uh, retribution uh, group behind this. I mean, who are these people too? Are they... Where are these people coming from? I, I really thought that they might be re returning uh, wrestlers, but it doesn't look like it. It looks like a new fresh. I think some of these uh, retribution uh, group is actually from the NXT just as well. It's just, it's a fun, interesting story, and I can't wait to see what's going to happen and uh, see what's going to happen for each week on uh, Raw. It is, this is a good story for uh, WWE on the Monday night side of Raw. So with all your thoughts and everything, leave some comments down below. I'd love to hear what you got to say, uh, what you might think might happen with Retribution, and what, how do you feel with Mustafa Ali be, being the leader of this group? So I'm going to start wrapping things up and say, my name's Ryan. Thank you for watching. Make sure to give me those thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with more wrestling talk. See you guys later. Bye.